Hello Pisces, welcome to your what's coming towards you in love in the next six months reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in the next six months in terms of love. As always, this is meant to be a general reading Pisces, so take what resonates for you, what applies for your situation, leave the rest, check out your other placements, specifically for this reading, your moon, your rising sign. Uh, I'll have a link to all of the different playlists for each sign in the description box so you can check that out and of course you can always flip the energies reverse the roles if it resonates so let's jump right in spirits angels guides messages for pisces for the next six months in love spirit what can pisces expect in the next six months in love what can pisces expect in the next Six months in love. What can Pisces expect? Next six months in love. Okay, we got two. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and spontaneous, impulsive, and unplanned. You could be dealing with an air sign, or this is this is definitely air sign energy with this spontaneous, impulsive, and unplanned. So um, it could be that energy mainly, something unexpected, right? very interesting uh, I love that those two came out together what else for Pisces what can Pisces expect here in the next six months what can Pisces expect in the next six months and Pisces expect Moving forward, movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. And then bottom of the deck, we have coming together. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. Reunion, destiny meeting, uh, destiny has brought you together. So uh, interesting, you could be visiting someone coming together with a soulmate here, having some sort of reunion after the end of a cycle. Um, I love that energy as well. And then I'm going to pick one from the Kipper deck. I haven't done this for any of the other signs, but as I was shuffling, I couldn't stop looking at this and look at this. Let me, let me just show you. I have the book here and look at the beginning of the book, right? The, t the cover of the book is this woman. I just put the deck and there. She is. <laughs> it's almost like confirmation. Like that, that spirit mate wants me to use this deck. Okay. So let's go in, get this, this extra energy for Pisces. Spirit, tell me about what's coming next in the next six months, I guess, I should say, for Pisces. What can Pisces expect in the next six months? Spirit, what can Pisces expect in the next six months in love? What can Pisces expect in the next six months in love? Unexpected income. Interesting. So this to me is come almost like an unexpected offer and funny. It's like we have impulsive and unplanned and we have unexpected income here. So I feel like there's something that you're literally quite literally not expecting. I have thoughts at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone's thinking about this, about something that they want to give you or offer you here, because I'm thinking of the Ace of Pentacles here. We'll clarify with the with the tarot. For the tarot today, I'm using, I mean, I this probably has to be my favorite tarot deck that I've ever owned. It's just a shame that it's so big because my hands are on the smaller size and this is bigger than traditional tarot decks. So um, like doing the overhand shuffling is just a little bit difficult for me. But other than that, I love it. So you'll be seeing this deck a lot more. <laughs> I'll have a link down below if you're interested, um, the name of it anyway, or the website. Spirit, tell me more for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces regarding the next six months in love? For Pisces, tell me about this spontaneous and air sign energy. What can you tell me about? these two energies here for Pisces. Wow, the 10 of Pentacles. 
long-term success, commitment, family, traditions, four of cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Can I get one more for this spontaneous and air sign energy? What is this about for Pisces? What is this about? Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Swords. So this could definitely be some sort of communication. Yeah, Page of Swords right after that. I mean, this is definitely communication. There's somebody here that's going to talk to you. Notice this Air Energy too. Also Four of Swords after that. Um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini um, Energy. I feel like um, you're not expecting this or uh, it's interesting. It's like this could be something that leads to the Ten of Pentacles. I am going to clarify further. I'm just going to lay down the base, basic cards first and then I will clarify with my clarifier deck. Okay. Can you see that? Not that well. I'll move it down. Okay. Tell me about this moving forward energy. What's this about? What's this about for Pisces? We got the Six of Cups. Beautiful. And the Knight of Wands. Interesting. The Six of Cups. I was not expecting the Six of Cups because this is a card about the past. And I am looking at moving forward here. <laughs> so, all I can, th I mean, and then we have the Knight of Wands. So, you know, there's definitely something here with movement, action, um, desire, motivation with the Knight of Wands. They tend to just go after what they want. They're not shy about what they want. Um, so this Knight of Wands makes perfect sense that they would move forward and move quickly. So all I can think about here so far is that whatever this moving forward energy is about, it, it's tied to either a past situation or a past life connection or a soulmate we'll have to see tell me about this unexpected income what's this unexpected income energy about why is unexpected income here king of cups and the sun wow holy crap okay so i have to say every single card that i've put down so far is great which is making me nervous pisces yeah look at this at the bottom of the deck <laughs> the three of swords yeah um it just looks too good it looks too good nine of pentacles after that so we'll have to clarify and see um i feel like whatever unexpected thing is happening here i feel like it's tied to like something good like you are very happy with this or it's a pleasant surprise um so we'll have to clarify and see uh what that's all about but i mean let's dig in because this is making this is looking a little too good right like just looking just a little bit too good but i always get suspicious um because i don't know i don't know maybe Maybe I've just done too many of these readings. <laughs> I don't know. I always am hopeful, but also realistic. Okay. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. What is this Ten of Pentacles about for Pisces here? Why is this Ten of Pentacles here, Spirit? Temperance Reverse, Sagittarius Energy, and Five of Wands. So those two go perfectly together. Um, so what I'm getting is like things probably um, uh, in a commitment or probably there was some fighting or instability or some sort of conflict, drama perhaps. 
Uh, the temperance card is here reversed, which tells me that things were just a little bit off balance. Tell me about this page of cups. Sometimes this page of cups can be an apology. Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? The world reverse. Why is the page of cups here? Especially in this deck, the page the page looks so sad. <laughs> they have such sad eyes. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this could be an apology here. Or something that someone was holding back, holding on to for a while. Maybe this was weighing heavily on them. Can I get one more for this Page of Cups? Why is the Page of Cups here? This one. Ace of Wands reverse. So with the Ace of Wands reverse and the world reverse, I feel like this is something that didn't begin or couldn't begin, couldn't start, perhaps due to a weight or a baggage or an obligation, something that weighed down this connection. Um, I feel like someone wants to like apologize for this or at least talk about this. Like, let's talk about this. I have Virgo energy with the Hermit here at the bottom of the deck and then the Three of Swords reverse. So it's almost like I feel like someone wants to heal a difficulty. Maybe they want to talk about the difficulty here. This could be a past person for a lot of you. It does not have to be, but I, I'm getting the sense that there's already some history here. Tell me about the Six of Cups with this Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Cups with this Knight of Wands. Page of Swords, Reverse, Four of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here with the Knight of Wands? You know, and I didn't want to get my hopes up either because I have the Moving Forward card here. So there's definitely something that's taking place that's different or leading to something different. Four of Cups, Four of Swords. Hmm. I'm getting like disinterest here or like someone's not very interested in this cup or that's being offered here. Tell me about this four of cups. Tell me about this four of cups. Ten of pentacles reverse. Tell me about this page of swords reverse. the page of swords reverse okay these two nine of pentacles knight of swords reverse so i feel like um this could be somebody trying to come towards you that you might not be interested in pisces for whatever reason maybe in the past they deceived you or they weren't able to commit to you. And I feel like you're just at a different um, level here, or at least um, you're doing, you have a lot to offer, you have a lot going on for yourself, and this isn't something that you want to deal with. Wow, there's the tower. And the five of swords with the death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like um, this was probably already over. Someone from the past, like an ex, Scorpio possibly, um, I feel like wants to come back in here because I have the Six of Cups. Can I get one more for this Four of Cups? King of Wands reverse, yeah. This person could have um, maybe what didn't take your connection seriously. That's what I'm getting. I'm also getting that maybe you're not very happy with this person. See, I knew this was too good to be true, Pisces. Okay, Six of Wands. So I feel like Spirit is trying to tell me to relax here, that not everything is terrible. <laughs> there's success. Yeah, there's a sign. Yay. There's success here at the other side of this, or at least some something happy. 
Thank you, Spirit. Let's see, what is this King of Cups and the Sun? I feel like this is like the turning point here. Tell me about this King of Cups with the Sun. What's this about with the King of Cups and the Sun? We have Two of Wands. Why is the King of Cups here with the Sun Spirit for Pisces? Okay, we have the Queen of Swords reverse, the Two of Cups reverse. Why is the King of Cups here with the Sun? Oh my gosh. Okay, can I get one more? Get one more. Um, Pisces, I feel like whoever this is, um, I don't think they were faithful or they played you or something like that. But I think this is leading you, it's almost like you moved forward from this person into something else. Because I have the two of wands here. Can I get some more insight? Yeah, queen of pentacles. Can I get some more insight, please? For these energies. Yeah, you have options now. I feel like you're at a different level. You do not, you're not interested in what this person, you're not, I feel like a lot of you are not interested in the past. And if that's the case, let me know in the comments. I feel like a lot of you are ready to move on. Yeah, eight of wands. You're ready to move on from this, from this energy. Um, I feel like you had to see someone for who they truly were in the past. And this person might feel remorseful they might apologize to you um, and this might surprise you. The fact that they're so, um, I don't want to say desperate, but that they're so focused on getting you back. But you're focused on what else is out there, I feel. On any new opportunity, on your own happiness, on real love. Yep, Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is where you're headed. You're headed towards a Ten of Cups. But it's not with the past. I feel like this is not with a past person um, or with what just happened. I mean, if this is a past person, it's someone like from forever ago kind of energy. Um, because this moving forward is telling me that whatever is left behind, it's, it's there for a reason. And you're just like ready here for something new. Yeah, death and then two of swords reverse. Like you're done. You're done with this. And I, I feel like you don't, it doesn't even matter what someone else has to say. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're really like done with this person and headed towards true happiness. Ten of cups in the sun. I mean, you're a very giving person. Um, I think you're this king of cups here. And I feel like you are, it's almost like your intuition is super strong right now. And you can see right through the BS um, I think you've gotten a lot of clarity or you will be getting a lot of clarity in the next six months about what exactly spirit has for you because I feel like there's something coming that you're not expecting but in the best way. I feel like you're going to have choices, options here and it's going to like open the path for you or open the door for you to move into a whole new cycle. So that's what I have for you Pisces. Um, if you enjoy the reading, if you resonated with the reading, if you want to say hi, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more readings from me. Don't forget to check out the description box if you want to um, watch your other signs. Uh, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.